Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just hope you had fun watching this video. It went yeah. viral. I did. And it's surprising the things that can go viral yeah. in, in our country right now. In our society, society right now. Yes, <laughs> Not basically. just in our country. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the final lap of the program today, it's our pleasure to introduce Jude Thomas Dowan. He is a journalist, content creator, and definitely not a cow. <laughs> even, though, <laughs> even though he's the one that did what you just watched here now. Jude, uh, good afternoon and welcome to the run-up. Thank you so much for having me on the run-up. And uh, yes, I'm definitely not a cow. Yeah, because some <laughs> people will be expecting you to just say moo. <laughs> I would have done that, but then I'm not in that element right now. <laughs> what were you even thinking when you did that video? Honestly, was I really thinking? Uh, yes, I was. And uh, the, the, the video for me and the song was a little bit more poetic than it is. Now, I, I don't know if you can remember in 2019 where the biggest conversation in Nigeria was about, you know, getting houses and states for cows and rugas and, you know, the, we, we have to be like this if you don't have rugas in the state, there's a problem. But then Nigerians were going through a lot. Uh, people didn't have houses to live in. Nobody really paid attention to those kind of things. It just seemed like being a cow was fantastic. Like, <laughs> look, these cows would just would just sleep in the night. They don't have to go to work, and yet they they've been fought for, mm. you know. And it, it it for me it was more from that angle. Uh, but at the end of the day, I made a joke out of it. Mm. But I made a joke out of what I was thinking in my head. And then coronavirus came through and I was not doing anything at all in my house. I'll tell you this. My wife is not proud of that video, by the way. <laughs> and she says, how would the children look at it? But a lot of people haven't seen it from the point where I saw it. But I also hope that someday people would understand the reason the song came out. All right. Uh, you have a, a doppelganger. Uh, that is called Tanko, and I'm sure that is the yes. person represented in the video, I'm a cow. Yes. Uh, tell us, yes. is Tanko and Longplan, are they the same person? They can never be the same person, because <laughs> uh, Tanko is the person who didn't go to school. Uh, he's thinking from the point of um, someone who is struggling in Nigeria, someone is trying to find his space trying to keep a job. If you follow some of my skits, you find out that most of the time I've been sacked from one job to the other job because nothing seems to be straight for Tanko. Mm. But Long Plan is the father and husband. Also Long Plan is uh, the, the media person, mm. uh, the assistant head of station. You know, Long Plan is the corporate guy who is politically correct every single time you catch him. So yes, they're two different people. Okay, let's know whether you grew up in, uh, among a head of cows or something. <laughs> Tell us a bit about it. I wish yourself. I did. It's, like thinking about it right now, yeah. I wish I did. Just <laughs> hopefully they don't kill me for Christmas, right? But <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what, what, what happened with that was um, I had, uh, my, my dad had cows because my dad is a traditional ruler. So he gets gifts a lot of cows so we had a lot of that in the family uh not that we we go to take care of them because he usually pays for people to do that but i i learned how sad not too long ago actually uh let's say 12 to 13 years ago that's uh, about when i started you know i forced myself to learn how sad. and i just kind of liked the fact that i could hear what people were saying yes i'm from plateau state how is not my traditional language uh, I am from Pangshin. Uh, my traditional language is Mupun. You know, so all of these things put together just kind of gave me an insight into you know how the the, the the Tanko people think and how they react to things actually. So that that was it for me. But I didn't grow up on cows. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, you you mentioned earlier that what inspired you to make that song "I'm a Cow" is the current uh, the political situation in the country at the time in 2019 and that means you are actually uh, you follow up on political uh activities and you know situations in the country and that would make me want to ask you this question it, we're in the election season uh, the campaigns have started uh, what do you think about the political situation right now in the country 
Personally, I think uh, people are sectionalizing the politics, which is something we're hoping wouldn't happen. Uh, the youth are, are made, have spoken, and if you bear me witness, the youth was or is very material to the uh, ruling party today. They played a major role to make sure that there was a new political party, which we felt was almost impossible. But uh, the youth have decided now and said, you know what? We need some form of fresh air. Mm. And the movement started like a joke. Usually it's just, you know, the two major political parties. But right now we're getting more than two, more than three, more than four. Uh, you, you, you have the NNPP, you have the LP, you even have Shore. You have, you know, all of them are putting a lot of energy into it. And this happened because the youths have decided to take you know, the country into their hands to make to make their voice heard. Mm -hmm. Gone are the days where they will say, okay, it's only on social media, which I think it's a good thing. Uh, the other day, I was having a conversation with a, a couple of young people. I think the oldest was 24. And just for the hell of it, I asked the person, I said, um, do you, are you registered under any political party? And he said, yes. I was shocked. Then I asked the other person, uh, they, they had the ID cards of their political parties. So I think there's a, there's, there's a paradigm shift and it's scaring the older politicians as much as they try to make it look like, no, it's not a problem. But I think the youths are trying so hard, like if we didn't get it the first time, we want to try it again until we get it right. So it's a very interesting place to be in if only the older politicians will not sectionalize the policy. Okay, I, I wish we had more time. And I also wish we had you in the studio here. We would have made you to dance to that uh, cow video. <laughs> I'm a cow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I cow. Would, I'm by a cow. But <laughs> unfortunately, we cannot have you in the studio here today, but we hope for that kind of a, a moment in the future. We'd like to thank you for being a part of our program this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. And uh, you guys are doing great. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Well, that is the much we can take for today. Yes. And uh, we're not cows. <laughs> <laughs> But we hope to have the luxury that that uh, video talked about. Yeah. You know, you just you do to, next to nothing, but you have the 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 comforts of life and everything you like have that. People constantly guarding and guarding. <laughs> <you. laughs> okay, just by way of information, uh, we know that yesterday the program was at nine o'clock, but uh, henceforth uh, we hope to bring the program to you from eleven o'clock every morning, and we're hoping that you're going to be a part of the show. Until then, my name is Nyamgul Agaje. And I am Uchechuku Onodu.